<laughs> okay, let's take a look at this shaded area in blue. It's being enclosed by a few lines of the. Can you identify for us? Okay, very good. The use of the x axis over here. So, because only the x axis is covering, the first thing that comes to our mind is when we do our integration, we integrate with respect to. X also. Okay, what else is covering the shaded area? Okay, there is a curve over here. What else? Okay, there is a straight line over here. If you can't recognize this is a straight line, I can change the form. This is the same as y is equal to negative x plus 2. All agree? Okay, we are ready to begin. Okay, this is just to look at the question by itself. Now, find the coordinates of P. How do we find the coordinates of P? Thank you. Simultaneous equation. Can you see that the curve cuts the straight line at P? So it's the use of simultaneous equation. Am I right to say that? So the curve is Y is equal to root X. As I just written out, the straight line is negative X plus 2. Can I give you two minutes? Go and find out the coordinates of P by solving this pair of simultaneous equation. Ah, so this is another thing where simultaneous equation may not come out by a question by itself. It can be part of another question again. show you how to solve the simultaneous equation now. Huh? I know you are able to labor if you are working. You are expected to tell me what are the coordinates of P in this case. What do you, what do you get? I haven't finished. Ah, there are two answers. So be smart. Should P be positive or negative? Or both positive? Uh? Oh, then be smart. Should we choose the bigger value or the smaller value also? Okay, we need to be smart. Uh? Two values. Uh? Okay. Rachel, can you tell me what are the two values again for x? Uh, x, equal to 4 or x is equal to 4 or 1. Okay? Both are positive, Mr. Liu. Very difficult to choose. Then you need to have some form of sensing. Where does your sensing come in, in this case? Obviously, this must be zero. La. Okay, now what is this value here? Don't know. How can we use the diagram to help us? Can someone tell me what is this value here? Anyone? Can someone tell me what is this value? Uh, how you know it's two? Ah, y is equal to 0 stuck inside the straight line, right? x is equal to 2. Since p must be within 2, can we choose 4? Cannot. 4 must be at a. We must choose 1. Okay? Even though both are positive, then you need to use the diagram to make some form of a sensing. Alright? So in this case, 1, 1. Okay. Why do I put a star here? Okay, it's unlike previous question where 
different parts of the area is very distinct but this particular one is not so distinct and I'm going to tell you why, uh, why right now okay please look at the whiteboard first don't copy anything okay this particular area can you see that it started with a curve until point B is this still a curve continuing that bounds the area? No. What is this part? It's a straight line. It means to tell us that we cannot integrate one shot. Unlike previous question, all the way is a curve, I can integrate one shot from the lower limit to the upper limit. But this area is bounded by a curve followed by another straight line. That is why it's very important for us to find the intersection point and start to divide the shaded area into two parts. I'm going to divide the shaded area into two parts. Okay? And we all agree that this must be one. Because from zero to one, you can see that it's bounded by the curve. But from one to two, is this still bounded by the curve? It's bounded by the straight line. All agree it's a straight line and I'm telling you whenever it's a straight line you must be happy. Why? Thank you. I didn't hear what some of them are telling me. Straight line can use area of the triangle. Don't go and integrate this straight line make your life difficult. Lah. Oh, one mark one use back side. Oh, think. If it's a straight line please tell yourself you must be very happy. Don't go and think of the long method. Okay? So now, we are going to find the whole area here in the two portions. I will split into two parts. Am I right? Let's do the one for the first part first. This particular area. Okay? So, shaded area. If I want to do the first part, just now it already told us this whole area is bounded by the x-axis. So for certain, we integrate with respect to x. All agree, ah? Jermaine, can you tell me if I only want this part, what is the lower limit and upper limit? Ah, 0 is the lower limit. Okay, 1 is the upper limit. And what function do we integrate again? Ah, yes, but what is the function? What is this term? Yes, but what, what is the expression for the term? So what do we write down? Okay, square root x. Instead of writing square root x, you want to do integration, you should change to ah, x to power half. Okay, we do one shot already. Why? It's very straightforward. This particular second part, do you want to do integration? No need, it's a triangle. How to find area of this triangle over here? Have some base, some type. Okay, Kimberly, can you tell me what is the base? Base is what? What is the height? Okay, the height is 1 based on the fact that the point P is 1, 1. Am I right? So, area of triangle. I write down first, uh, but subsequently you don't have to do this. I'm writing down because I want you to visualize that this is the area of the triangle. Then we do our integration. How to do integration? Wang Yen, how to integrate x to the power half? One and a half, which is three over two, over. Okay, three over two. Later, then I simplify. Yeah. Okay, plus area of the triangle, which Kimberly and we did to ask half times one times one. Half times base times height. Okay, we need to simplify this expression first. Divide by 3 over 2 is S squared. Tell me this is 2 thirds. Okay, x to the power of 3 over 2, or it's not 1 and a half. Up to you. Punching the values. One and one over six. Is that right? Not fair. 
Okay? So the one thing I want to highlight to you is the next few questions when we are doing, if you realize the shaded area is not consistently covered by the same curve nor the same line, you need to find the point of intersection. Okay? This is a guided question, so no problem. After you find the point of intersection, the next thing is to split your area. Because once you split your area, it will be very easy to find the respective area by part. Okay? So this will be the approach that we will be dealing with.